All right. So I assume we're live. Um, so if you guys have questions, um, what I want to do is um, answer them in the chat. So there should be the, the chat function if you're on your phone, um, either on um, the bottom there or if you are um, on a computer, it should be on the right, I believe. So... So I brought these other two guys um, on to help out, and so I have a, a lapel mic on, so it's kind of hard for me to show stuff, but um, hopefully they'll be able to do it. So. So um, the uh, first one that I want to talk about is um, something that we do, like a lot of white belts deal with. Um, and it's uh, uh, a gi choke. And so we worked on that tonight with him. And I think there's probably a lot of other guys out there. So um, let's have you go into guard and you go in his guard. Um, let's uh, put your head this way, Carrie. So take a, like a 90 degree turn the other way. Perfect. So, um, and scoot this way just a little bit more. Perfect. All right. So. Um, a lot of times what people will do is take this hand and pull down. Like, they'll pull down and then try to get the collar in right here. Um, so what I'd rather have people do is, stop real quick, go a little bit lower here and then punch it up. Boom. So then there's a huge space back here. So if you look off to the side, there's a huge space right here that he can put his hand into. Now you're going to do the same thing with this one. So this one comes up, shoots through, and then you can get to the choke. Uh, but that's one of the big things that I see is, is people will go here, um, pull it down, and then try to get that in there. And they can't ever get that uh, that grip in there because it, it's it's pulled in too tight. So using this hand to open it up first, boom, and then come through. So then the right hand, excuse me, the left hand is going to come through, uh, come down. And then what I want him to do is that you're going to go rotate, elbows down, and then twist slightly. So you're going to bring this way, boom, good. So just able to get that, that choke like a little bit tighter. Um, so that's big one real quick. One more time through. Boom. There. Good. I'm guessing if that, like, if you're having problems doing chokes, that's probably, mo like, not all the issue, but part of the issue. Same thing from mount, same thing from everywhere. Don't pull and, and get tension on that gi um, and then try to get your hand in there. That's going to be uh, a struggle. So um, that'll be the first one. So um, next one I want to do is uh, somebody asked for entries into uh, leg stuff. And something, it's not necessarily my favorite, but a, a fun one that I like is um, Velvet Guard. So I'm going to go, like it's a, an old school one that I've been working lately, um, and I really like it. So uh, let's try it. So let me borrow you real quick. I'm probably going to screw it all up because I'm attached. But... Um, so here, so one knee is going to be down, one's going to be, nope, uh, just like that. So, uh, nope, put this one back down. So just in an entry like this. So I'm going to go underneath, and I'm going to grab the, the pant legs. So actually, let's go whoop, whoop, this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, shoot, and then bring this knee up. Um, and so then I can start to work into, you know, 50-50 or in any leg lock position, but it's a nice little scoop. So underneath here, scoot underneath. My knee's going to come up, catch this, and come forward. So one more time. So in this, this actually came off of, I can't remember the guy, uh, Fredson... I can't remember his last name, not not Peixal, uh, but somebody else. Uh, Avalis, maybe, uh, in a like an old grappling magazine. So here, knee comes through, and then I shoot back. And then this knee comes up high. And like I said, you can transfer, go to this side, start working, dropping him down into like 50-50 position, um, or just work leg locks. But I really like that um, as a setup. So one more time. Here, boom, inside. Coming up, bring my knee high, either dropping off to this side or completely over to the other side and going 50 50. Uh, 
Um, another one that uh, people had as far as a question uh, was um, the like tall guy uh, takedowns. And I might have to, I'll have you two tall guys um, use this. So let me see if I can go that way. All right. Um, so for me, let me borrow you real quick. Um, especially if I'm doing like wrestling takedowns, things like that. Um, rather than me as a, as a long, like lanky guy going in and, and, and shooting and things like that, I want to go here and get a connection. So I want to get my head control and here, get a connection, and then go for a single leg uh, trip, anything off of that. Uh, but the likelihood of me going here and getting a takedown is going to be lower than me if I'm here, work, 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 get a connection, and then go, right? So staying connected to them uh, and then going from there rather than, like I said, trying to shoot uh, outside stuff, especially for wrestling. Uh, not like I don't do a ton of uh, judo. I'm not I'm not very good at it. So like mine is more like takedown stuff is more wrestling based. Um, the other big thing that I see as far as like wrestling style is guys that will go here, and that's not necessarily bad. But I would rather see this knee up, this hand down, and pushing this way and creating angles here, and then getting to here. Um, reason being is if I go here, it's giving him a straight shot into that leg. Just like that. Um, so if this leg's in front, I'm trying to protect this knee. So here, boom. And then once I get to a grip, like a, a control of his hand, so I know that he's not going to go for a single uh, or a double here, then I can use that one or get, you know, uh, to this position here. So uh, just something that I, that I want to see more of from, like, videos that I review is you'll see a lot of people that will, will go here and the, the lead the lead hand is not or the lead leg is not protected by um, my my arm. So again, real quick, uh, for taller guys, I, I personally like I said like to work in, get head control, get tight to them first, and then go for a leg or a, a takedown. Um, and then um, when you're thinking about takedowns, especially from the wrestling side of it, this hands down um, as this knee's in front. If this goes in front, then I switch, and I go to this side. So, uh, trying to think of some of the other ones that we had. All right, um, so while I wait for some of the other questions and things like that, um, what I want to do is maybe a series uh, from, uh, from guard. So let me borrow you here real quick. Oh, so let go real quick. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so um, I got to go this way. So I'm going to go here. Off to the side, and if you can, I want to control the wrist. So I'm going to go opposite side, overhook, heavy knee pressure, shoulder down here. All right, so me, hand goes underneath, come to here, and then now what I'm going to do is push the head. So this is kind of a crazy one. Leg over, grab here. So here, get the wrist control, um, and then I'm going to push that head. Here, boom. This way or this way. Um, the easier one, though, that I really like is coming off of here, boom, getting this grip, and then just using that as a triangle transition. So here, here, pop, and then come over top into a triangle. So here, angle off, knee pressure down, control here. Bring that leg through, 
control here, posture over, and then choke. Uh, one more time. So here, scoot off, come this way. If I want to do the, the double arm bar, I'm going over top, choking. If I want to come here, leg goes over, triangle, pop, and then secure that way. Um, trying to think what are some of the other ones that we've had. Um, one of the other questions was um, a uh, escape from uh, a darts. So I think you actually had that same question, right? So escape like an escape from darts earlier. So um, have you done this one before? Um, All right. So through the other side. yeah. So uh, let me try it. So half guard, or actually we'll just do it from side. So go from side. So he starts a darts on me here all the way through. All right, so this is in here. Um, first thing I'm going to do, take this hand, the thumb, and go inside grab his wrist. So probably killing my mic. Um, so this way here, pants, and then I'm going to bring this elbow up. So whatever side he's trying to darts on, whoop, I want to pop up. So uh, trying to do this without rolling and getting caught up in wires. So here, come in, pop this elbow up, pop up, and sit out. So what's going to happen a lot of times is either A, he stays there, and I choke, or B, excuse me, uh, I finish the armbar, or he rolls. So rolls over the shoulder, boom, to there. I'm going to sit back, control here, and to do like a traditional Suzuki armbar. So Heavy pressure on this side so he can't roll back into you here or here, and then finish. So, again, or I might actually have you guys do it. So, I'm here, walks around this way, pop out. Pop, pop. So, come back. Don't roll yet. So, what I'm looking for is almost like a wrestling peek out here right um, and so as soon as I can this hand is either gonna chuck him that way or roll out right so he doesn't get me caught here this way here now if he doesn't roll that way or if he rolls on the bottom of the back okay. and I don't know where my mic there we go alright let's do that uh I'll have uh, you do the darts, you do the defense, and then I'll kind of walk you through it. Okay. You, you can hang out if you want, Dan. <laughs> so first thing you're going to do, Kerry, is you're going to take your left hand, uh, left thumb, grab the wrist of the one that he's trying to choke with. Good. Um, and now what I want you to do is once you've done that, try to elevate your elbow up to the ceiling. Good. And like I said, you can go underneath, uh, like grab the pant legs with your right hand if you want, pop out, and then now put heavy uh, shoulder pressure on his shoulder. Good. And then so drop your left shoulder down, and now try to finish uh, a straight arm bar. So find his elbow and essentially kind of push it the other way. Good. So his elbow is this way, so I want you to go here, and now push that way. Good. Um, now, Abel, you're going to roll over your right shoulder. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Good. And so now he's going to have to sit back slightly, if you notice, and then now finish that same one. Um, so you want to make sure to put a ton of pressure, or Kerry will put a ton of pressure on his left shoulder. That way if Abel tries to roll back to towards him, it's kind of tough. He gets stuck. So uh, one more time too. Good. Peeks out. Heavy shoulder pressure. Readjust. Get that. Night. Like we call that a Suzuki armbar. I, I picked that up from Josh Barnett and Eric Paulson. So somebody calls it something different, like a straight armbar. That's fine by me too. Uh, roll over your shoulder, Abel. Good. Carry sits back and finishes. Nice. Um, 
do I play a tall guy's butterfly guard? Um, for me, like I, I've had such uh, knee problems that I don't play uh, a ton of, of butterfly guard. For me, um, I'll play like we call it a Damian Maya, like over under. So if that's what you mean by like a tall guy's uh, butterfly guard, I hope that is. So um, we'll talk one thing about the the butterfly guard. So um, let me do so. Knees down, butterfly guard. So I'm gonna get underhook, head positioning here, um, or let's try to do it this way. So underhook, head positioning here. Um, one thing that I like to do is that uh, you'll see in like Damian Maya's videos and, and see him do it too, is control here as he starts to go. Say this person pops up, I'm gonna continue to go. So my feet turn, so my my toes go up, and I continue to elevate. So here you'll see a lot of people like I'll, I will use that sweep, uh, come back, okay? So just do the regular. So I go here, angle off a little bit, and that's a big thing too. You'll see a lot of people that will just do the sweep from here. So make sure to go here, angle off, come this way, and then go. So here, boom, going in a mount. So um, say he... I start to go and he starts to post. I'm gonna put my toes on the mat and then start to elevate up. There. Oops. And keep coming around. No, that was me. One more time. So here, pull, he goes up. So I elevate my toes and I come up. Um, so one other thing that I'll do, um, so say, um, same position, just come in here, I'm here, um, that you can use as well, is I go here, off to the side, and I'm going to really push that forward, forcing his hand to like come out for base. Boom. But sometimes you'll go here, and you try to grab it, and they won't allow this, this grip, right? So they rip it back, so you're going to go that way, then pull, and then go on top. And a lot of times you should be able to get... Uh, a prime bar up there as well. So angle off, boom, come here, or to me, uh, go here. I base out, so bring that hand back. So I go here and shove him forward. Go here, come up either in the side or in the mount, depending on uh, how he reacts. Um, one of the other ones that I like. Uh, off there as well is the the old like Marce like Marcelo Garcia style. So let me see if I can do it with keeping the mic on. So here, boom, I go this way. I start to come up, uh, pop your legs up. Uh, so here, like uh, both legs, boom. So he's gonna come up underneath, and you're just gonna switch to an X guard. Here, so boom, underneath, into there. Um, let me do it from this other side. So here, start to go this way. He pops up and come underneath. So here, boom, come here. And you're in a, like a modified uh, X guard position. So one more time. So um, just pop this one up. So nope, come back. So, boom, pops this one up. So I'm going to go here. Um, and when I go, I have to bring this arm high, right? So if I'm here. So if I go low, he's able to base his hand out there. So I've got to bring this hand up high here and then come underneath. So scoot. I'm this way. If he's up on both feet, it's pretty much the same thing. So stay, um, stay the same way. And then as I start to go, boom, pop that foot up. Boom. Here, come underneath, this arm goes high, and switch. Let's see if there's any other questions that were on there.
All right. Don't see anything else on there, so see what I can come up with here. Yeah, the um, as far as the facility, the facility is actually super nice. They they took uh, redid all the um, th this like old building basically. So it's a it's a brick building, so you can see like brick on the the top sides of it. And then uh, Fuji actually um, Fuji mats helped out um, and kind of really made the facility look really nice for us. Um, and then, um, like I said, completely redid everything. So we've got uh, a TV that we're actually looking at for this uh, computer and then another TV in the back. And so we do, with that, we do all individualized lesson plans. So like, uh, for instance, uh, Carrie was working on Dar's stuff tonight and uh, Abel, or well, you were working on a bunch of different stuff. Um, so everybody gets four techniques that they work on, and they do things individualized uh, compared to like a regular class. We'll all sit there and explain four techniques. Um, they'll like each person will look up at the TV and it'll look at an Excel spreadsheet and see what they're doing, and they'll go from there. So, and they all have a, an Evernote account, which is a notebook program, so they can see what they're doing beforehand and a video of me showing it most of the time, um, and then it's kind of go from there. And then we've done that for like the last uh, two years, so. It's been kind of nice. And then uh, you'll see in the background, too, like Robbie Lawler, Luke Rockhold, um, and then I think uh, Gian Valente as well. Uh, that's because uh, the office, I don't know if you guys can see it back there, like the one that Robbie Lawler and, and uh, Rory McDonald, uh, their manager, um, like uh, Robbie's and um, Gian Valente and, and Luke Rockhold, uh, his office is in the back there. So a lot of times uh, you get to see those guys coming in every once in a while. So that's kind of nice. Um, okay, cool. So what do you like to do um, when guys backstep on me? So um, I'll, have, I'll attempt to do this. This cord is giving me the fits. So um, say he goes and, and backsteps. So here, well, um, so my, my first option is, yeah, let's scoot this way a little bit. Um, for me, if I if I can catch it, is to go underhook and come up on top. So um, let's go this way. So switch and then fall back there. So here and fall back through this. Way. So he's here. I'm gonna control. Um, one option is to come underneath, boom, and come back that way, right? So he's here. I'm gonna actually let go and underhook as soon as I can and then come to the far, like the far hip. So here, and come back. Um, another one, if I can catch it, uh, uh, this one. So, yeah, I'm still there. All right, so if I can catch it as he goes, I'm going to go this way. Um, it's a little bit risky in the fact that it's like a 50-50 position. He can possibly take my back, um, but I was... I've done this one a couple times in competition where I'll keep that grip and then actually come up over top. So before they're able to sit, as they start to sit, I should say, uh, go all the way up. Uh, so boom, he starts to sit. I'm going to go over top, control, and then bring this knee up over the shoulder. So this way. So again. Boom, up, over. Like I said, I, I have to control, make sure that he doesn't bring this other leg over. If he goes here, like go all the way around, uh, just step to the right, Boom. he can go towards my back. So I have to keep control of that by bringing my knee up and coming over top. If he's in no gi, I'm going to go grab the lap and come up over top.
Um, so steps. Uh, you can even like here, go uh, face control. So boom, go skip. So for me though, like I said, the number one that, that I use is I'm gonna control the pants, switch underneath, and start to control this way. And so this hand's controlling the hip here, and then this hand's here. Underhook, hook, start to come up. If they're doing it from standing, uh, you've always got the. Uh, so I go here, pull the switch go that way. You've always got the nice uh, little Dan and Eva uh, back kick as well. Uh, I know I'm going to use this thing like four times. So, um, let me borrow another time for that one. So, he goes here, boom, starts to go this way, switch, control, things back. Uh, all right, what is the uh, most preferable grips uh, for stand-up? We, uh, we talked a little bit about this beforehand. Um, I'm going to try to do it this way and see what happens. Uh, so when I, uh, real quick, just to, to reiterate the same stuff we were talking about before, uh, I usually play more of a, a wrestling uh, background than, than, a, than a judo background. Uh, but this, if this leg's in front, this hand's going to be here, and I'm seeking this way. So if I'm trying to grab a grip, it's almost always going to be the far hand first rather than uh, the near head. Um, like you'll see some guys that will say, uh, you know, near hand first, and then give it to the far hand. Um, I'm not against that. It's just for me, I prefer. Uh, to go this way. I know it's probably more susceptible to judo because I'm extending this arm out there compared to, to this one. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like I can defend a lot more this way. And then once I go, I'm trying to get inside. So here and get uh, off of it. So I'm just trying to get uh, an underhook, get connected to them, and then go for a takedown. Um, I don't like doing stuff uh, straight in. For the most part, like I said, it's I'm almost always trying to get, so here, trying to get connected to them and then go for the takedown. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'm by no means super great at takedowns, um, but uh, the nice part is that our, at our gym we've got uh, two Jugo national champions or, or have had two Jugo uh, national champs and a world champ wrestler here. Uh, so that's helping out quite a bit, um, but like I said, wrestling is by no means uh, the, the best thing that I'm at, uh, or good at, I should say, and judo is, is probably even worse. So. All right, um, so going back to the, the CrossFit, So, um, or the long step with cross -ups. So, he goes here. He's already straddled uh, this pressure. So, um, that, like I said, same thing for the most part that I'm trying to do. If I can get this other hand around to you to give to this one, um, then I'm happy. So, let me do this. So he drops this way. So hands coming to here. Uh, keep this tight, or like I said, controlling this coming up and coming through. Um, I feel like if, if he's got heavy shoulder pressure in here, once I start to manipulate this a little bit, it's a it's a race on whether or not he gets it out or not. So that's why I have to control it. So go back to three. So just trying to control this as much as possible. This is. His option is to turn back into me, right? So I'm going to go here. This hand's either controlling his wrist or his hip. So that way it's hard for him to come back into me. Right? Um, so the other option is to come up 
four here, and I'm gonna push them completely the other way. Here, one to the side, pop off, start to work to the back. But that's, to me, um, that, first, that one that we've done probably 10 times now is just kind of my go-to. So here, control, more control, here, hook on the knee, switch, and come up on top. Um, one thing that I'll talk about uh, as well is, no, I've lost it again. There it is. I need to get myself a, a wireless one. All right. Um, we're actually, so, uh, other thing that you'll see is guys do it this way, right? So there. They're here and they're over the body rather than over the face. Uh, for this one, I really like grabbing going here. So I'm going to control the hip, hook them underneath, and then I come up. So uh, bring the leg over again. So he's in half here and he drops to his hip here. So control the shoulder, the leg, hip. So and I can hook the leg at this point here and then come up in the mount. My other option is I can take this leg here and shoot it through. So here, and come in the mount. So you'll get this a lot of times where guys will. You know, this way. So uh, half guard here on this one. Okay. And then it sits. Well, so guys will get to this position here and start to work in the mount. So control or control this way here. Switch, and then I'm going to go up over top. So this way, come over here, or control his knee, shoot, and then come up in the mount. One more time. So head guard. Um, and you can, uh, you'll see a lot of uh, octopus guard stuff where he initiates that. I come into this position, and I should have actually held on to that longer, but. Um, so I go here, switch the foot, come up on top, or here, control this leg, go here, and come up on top. And then once I go, I'm going to sit heavy to this side uh, just to keep control this way. Because that, again, is a 50-50 position. When I get to, let again, sorry. When I'm here, um, there's a you know going to be that chance of him being able to go uh, here, and then over top, right? So now he's in a, in a better position. So when I go, I have to keep control of this leg. So here, if he starts to bring it over, I want to really try to block it here with this leg. Boom, coming over, or grab, lift, and come this way. And then uh, here, there's not much that he can do, but I would rather have uh, my guys sit this way. So now, um, a, lot, a lot more pressure is on them. All right. Any tips for um, the spider guard? Uh, man, one of the spider guard things that I, I love is I completely wrap myself up in this mic cord. Uh, the easy, just an easy transition to try out. So if I'm uh, just trying to go uh, both these down for right now. So so if I'm here or here, I'm just taking this foot, slam it down hard, and then coming over. Right. So then I go straight into uh, the triangle. So here, coming up high, slam it down tight towards the hip, pull, bring that one over, and then go on for a triangle. So um, here, same thing, uh, applies. So when I go here and I slam this down, I can also go here and do an easy one apply. So I go over. 
Um, but I, I really like keeping that to the hip. Um, so, you know, say I go here, we're going to bring that down and really put it towards his hip, break down his posture, go for a triangle, or bring that down and swing around uh, from the whole uh, front. So, uh, if I can as well, uh, let's talk about, so, here, boom, this way, I go for an almost plata, and take this hand off, and seek right away for this. All right, so no gi, sit up, come here, or in a gi, come here, so, this way, so, so here, here, come out, come back down, Come over, control, and then deep collar, and start to look for the trigger. So here, one, four, no B. Um, the other crazy thing, uh, I'm gonna have to have you guys do it, um, that I want to talk about with uh, Spider Guard is, I see a lot of people when they do a like, Spider Guard leg lasso, um, They'll spin completely underneath the person. Um, you know what I'm talking about? No. Okay, let me try to explain without ripping stuff off the computer. That's a bit of a Yeah. So, say I start with a, uh, you know, a spider and a leg lasso here. You'll see a lot of people when they transition, they'll go this way and then completely underneath here. Right? So I end up going like towards his belly and around. Uh, what I prefer people do here, this way when they go, they take this knee down uh, towards the mat, I'll, like 180 degree turn, put my knees to the mat and then roll forward. So here, and then roll. So I'm gonna do essentially a quarter roll. So here, roll here, hold this, then go to space, and rather than coming all the way underneath, I'm gonna keep that pressure, keep it tight. So this comes here, pulls back in, then you go down, go to the shoulder, and then roll up that down. So you know if I want to finish it here. Or all the way to a triangle. I'm spin myself here. Um, so I'll have you try that once on him. All right, so go ahead and try it. There, leg lasso. Good. And so now you're going to roll, uh, get up to your knees. So instead of, see how you're kind of coming underneath there? What I want you to do is come this way, and then now tilt your, your body, go this way, and then now switch your head. And roll off of this hip. So, uh, so switch your head, like look towards me, and then go. Um, so you can let go of the other grip, like right away. And then, so let me borrow him real quick. So, here, boom, this one. So I'm trying to keep that that grip away with my foot as long as I can, and then I can go. Um, so as I go, um, rather than coming directly underneath, I'm trying to roll on my knee, and then I'm going to duck my head underneath here, and then roll over my, my left shoulder. Try it one more time. <clears throat> Good. So come back. So 
try not to even grab the grab that stay away and then bring your elbow in tight to your ribs Boom. quarter roll and then now go good because you're trying to extend him over good so the idea one more time is if I go um, here and try to go underneath him um, I don't force him that way as much as if I go here and then pull him this way like forcing him out so sorry probably too much about that one but um, it's something that I see a lot of people do that I um, um, not necessarily that it's wrong to go underneath because it's you know it's certainly not um, but I, I feel like that one's a little bit more of an effective or an efficient way to go I don't know uh, give me your thoughts All right, uh, baseball bat choke. Uh, let me borrow you. Yeah, I've been mean to carry long enough. So, <laughs> so this one's baseball choke. Um, lay on your back. Um, for me, like the standard baseball choke from uh, from side, I'm going underneath. As I start to come underneath this way, I'm making sure that my shoulder pressure goes heavy down in this sternum. So when I go here, I'm going to switch, come this way and then start to bring my elbow down. So this elbow comes up, this elbow goes down. But I want to make sure that my pressure is all on his sternum. So here, um, trying to think this is harder than I thought with a, a mic there. So here, staying low, this way, shoot underneath. And then as I go, I'm going to replace and put my shoulder into his sternum. So. Here, I'm sitting out towards this way. So here, boom, this way, or walk around. Um, but with that sternum pressure, I'm trying to get his head to come up just a little bit. Like anytime you're putting weight on top of the guy's sternum, he kind of sits up. And so it's a lot easier for me to be able to get that choke. Um, I know there's a lot of crazy ones out there, but for me, like that's the uh, a good one from side. So... I know Majid Hayes has got, or Majid um, Hage has got, you know, really want, nice ones from, you know, standing from pretty much everywhere. Uh, Budo videos. I know he's got a DVD series out there. So, Um, yeah, as far as walking around the head, you'll see a lot of people use that. I think that's that's good for me. Like, I never, I, I usually almost never get to that point. Like, if I'm going to here to here, the same grip, and trying to put that elbow down, like, I usually don't have to get, like, all the way around here. Um, so, give it a shot. Like, if you're... If you're here, um, chances are people are you know trying it from here, going around this other way. What I want you to do is drop like all your weight on top, bring your left elbow up, and the other one goes through. Um, it should come on super super quick. The nice part about going around though, um, like what you saw the other time, is that the Kimura there is there a lot of times. So so boom, I spin all the way around. Come this way, and then he starts to defend. So you're gonna look for that Kamara. So um, as far as that too, like the the Kimura, um, we do it a little bit. Like I asked the guys do it a little bit differently, just because of the uh, Midwest there's such good wrestling that we switch it up and land your back. Like you'll see guys go north south on uh, Kimura from side as well. Yeah. Yeah. So here, you know, step over and go around. 
Um, usually what we do here is drop that weight down, that leg goes over, and go here. Um, you know, because if I go here, um, at least in my opinion, uh, around here there's a lot of really good wrestlers. And even if I have good, uh, you know, knee control here with knee pressure on his, uh, on his head, he gets up to that single leg where he's up to here and he starts going around. So um, I would rather go, boom, go here and start coming up and getting it. Uh, on the off chance that it doesn't happen, you know, you're switching uh, to either, you know, a prime bar or Americana, things like that. Um, but the, the chance of him getting out for me is a lot less. One thing I will see that people do um, with this one a lot is that they go super high. So they'll go here, and it's hard to bring the leg over. Um, and then also, he gives his hips a lot of mobility. So I want to go low on his hips and then go over, come up, and go around. Um, so you'll also see people go here. We'll try that way first. Doesn't work. And go for a choke. So actually... Let's go this way. So here, bump doesn't work. Come up here. Um, your other option is grab, grab, sit all the way over, and come up. Yeah, that one, like, if you guys do that one, um, here, actually, I'll have you do it to him. He has to do that one. It comes on like super quick, so be really nice about it. Um, so, <laughs> sets, Just give me a um, angle like 90 degrees to the left. This way. There you go. So, if you guys do this one, like I said, be really nice. Uh, it starts off with a Kimura grip, and then his, uh, let go real quick. So, his left hand is going to go all the way up to his shoulder. Good. Uh, and then trap here, and then now he's going to walk and put his right lat over, and then slightly turn. And if, it, if it's allowed, you can do a bicep cutter off of there. So same thing, boom, I get up here, I go here, hand comes out. Some people will grab this way, but I like having my hand out, and then put my elbow to his armpit here. Um, I know that like I should have pressure on him as well, but... Just try to show. So here, boom, this way, or it doesn't work, and come around. Uh, one more time through. So just this, your standard. Uh, so left hand goes up to the shoulder, grabs his elbow, walks around. He's going to put his right lat on his face or on his shoulder and then sit up. So, And that one happens like super quick. Okay, um, any reliable ways to break the rear choke uh, from the back? Um, so this one, like, trying to remember who showed it to me. Um, Eduardo, uh, I think Eduardo Lima. Um, and, I, it, like, to me, it was, like, super counterintuitive. Um, so, Carrie, let me borrow you. So this one isn't necessarily <coughs> an escape, but more of an idea. Um, and it seems super dumb. So um, let go real quick, and then go to a rear naked choke. So he goes to a rear naked choke. Uh, what I'm going to do is, like most people try to put their chin down this way. So what I'm going to do, and then, like I said, this it, it for me it works, but it seems really dumb, is to actually put my head like this way, or my the back of my head, into him, so I, I actually elongate my chin here, and then start to work for the choke. So here, boom, and this comes in. But say he's like do a short choke or any of those. So like a lot of those require uh, pressure forward, right? So he's going to put his shoulder into my to my neck. So if I can go there and actually push his shoulder back with my head a little bit, so you know do the same thing. No, nope, go ahead. So. Here, but actually push my head back. It actually saves me a lot of ability. Like 
pushing it down actually makes it worse than pushing my my head back so let go real quick so it, it seems like a completely stupid thing to actually give more of your neck up uh but try it especially in guillotines um guys will get you in a guillotine and you're gonna like force their shoulder up by uh taking the back of your head and pushing it into um to their shoulder a little bit so one more time with the with the runic jump so here I'm actually going to push it back a little bit and pull down. Um, once I get to here, another nice one is to, uh, you'll see this, like BJ Penn used to do this all the time. Here, off to the side, and control it, and so I'm going to pressure back. So um, he starts to this side, I'm going to go over to here, pressure back, and then start to fall off to that side. So once I start to fall off to that side, I can start looking for a Darce as well. Um, one more time. So here he goes for the show. He's already got me in it. I want to pressure back. Come here. Boom, come underneath. This one's going to go here. Goes to the other side. And whatever way his elbow is, I want to pull it the opposite direction. Or whatever way his thumb is, I want to pull it the opposite direction. Here, boom, this way. And start to pressure down towards him. Um, once I got this, I want to start looking for that darts. So here, up, and go for the darts. So I'll have you try that one time with him. So you tried choking. Nope. Easier. Uh, scoot this way a little bit. So Carrie, what I want you to do is like as he chokes, and like I said, this I know it sounds dumb. Well, bring your bring your head up, and it actually creates a little bit more. So attack that first, that top hand first. Good. Swim through. No. Nope. Uh, so come back. Take your right hand, grab the wrist. Left hand swims through. Like uh, so, right hand is going to grab here. Left hand swims through on the inside. Good controls. Now take both hands, pull it down. Now what I want you to do is put it to the opposite side of the head and pull here. So this hand is going to rotate slightly here. No, uh, don't rotate. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So now pull that in, push them down to the side. Good. Seek for that left hand there. Get your hip out and start coming up into a darts. One more time. Good. So he looks up, feeds it through. The other hand here gets it to the other side. So take your take just your right hand and pull that back. There you go. Yep. Now seek with your left hand for that head. Good. Come up and around. We we'll see if we have any more questions. Otherwise. I only plan on doing this for about an hour. Um, thank you guys very much, by the way, for watching this. If you did, um, thanks very much to uh, Fuji Mats for supplying the beautiful mats that we have back here. Um, and let me know if you guys have any other questions. Otherwise, I'll probably call it here pretty soon. Hopefully, this has been somewhat helpful. If it hasn't, please let me know what I can do better. Um, and then in the future, too, if you guys have uh, videos or whatever, I can actually switch it um, to watching your video as well on the um, on this so like uh, I'm trying to think here like uh, like that so I could actually watch your uh, your match if you wanted um, pull it up here real quick so like for instance We can do it this way. So, and then go through matches uh, this way as well. Um, so in this particular instance, his I feel like his hip was up. It's a little too high. He should be dropping the hip and walking his foot uh, close to the butt, um, trying to get like a knee steeple pass. So that's an option as well. Um, I want to start doing these, um, you know, maybe monthly or, you know, every other week, whatever. 
som Hopefully the audio quality wasn't too terrible as well with me uh, moving around so much. Um, is there a hand under your bicep uh, on the Kimura when you're sitting through? Um, trying to, like, let's go back to, um, so I'll have you on your back able. Uh, carry you go on top. So you can do that. Um, I guess I don't know what to call it other than a modified Kimura, but so see if I can go away. So this hand, uh, stop real quick. So this hand's going to come up to here. His elbow is going to go right to here to like just above his wrist. And then this hand's going to collapse around here. So that should get stuck. And then he's going to walk around. Um, on the Kimura as well, uh, let me borrow from guard real quick. So um, you can do the same thing from here, boom, here, and here. So you have this grip this way. So sometimes it's a little bit stronger. So rather than going this way, I'm going to keep that control, slip, and go here. And now rotate this way. Right, so I'm trying to go in here, I'm trying to come more, it doesn't work. And one thing I'll see too, like with a lot of white belts, is they'll do this, right? So keep it nice and tight, slide through, grab the elbow, rotate. Um, switch to the other side here, real quick. Um, one thing you'll see, uh, I think it was Greg Jackson that he does this as well, where he'll go here, um, start the Kimura grip, and maybe for whatever reason it doesn't work. I'm going to go here. So I'm going to choke up a little bit more on the on the Kimura. So here, go to here, and then I want to flare my elbow down, right? So I'm going to go here, way over, like past the uh, regular thing. And carries a little bit smaller than me, so like I don't have much arm to work with, but I'm going to go here, right? So rather than me now trying to rotate my body, I'm going to bring this uh, left elbow down this way and then rotate slightly. So all I'm trying to do is pinch down this way more and then rotate. So rather than being here or here and rotating. I'm going to choke up a little bit more. Left elbow comes down, and I rotate. So uh, I run a higher risk of him being able to uh, slip this hand off, but it's a really tight uh, position as well because I want to put this elbow down here and go this way. So I'm not over his elbow at all. My lat ends up being like right here where I'm here, boom, and then my elbow ends up right here, this way. Here. So, small little variation um, that I like. All right, I'm going to check for any other questions. I know that there's like a probably a two or three minute lag, maybe not even that much, but a little bit of a lag behind. So, um, All right, um, let me know if you guys have uh, any other like ways on to make this better. Um, I actually tried doing a, like a, a nice camera setup, like an HD camera and stuff set up, um, and it was lagging more than I would really like. Um, so we just went off of a webcam uh, that was propped up higher on the, um, on the wall. So hopefully this isn't too bad. Um, I, I probably will try like the HD setup um, a little bit better, but my my uh, issue with that might be like a syncing issue as far as the um, audio with uh, the TV and that um, just being like way too big of a difference. So we're trying to figure that out. Uh, because I don't think this is too terrible, uh, but if it's if it's unwatchable, by all means, let me know. Um, but past that, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. And like I said, if there's any other questions, 
uh, feel free to let me know and maybe I'll try to make a video. Otherwise, um, I'll try to maybe do another one in, I would say, two weeks. Um, special thanks to Carrie and Abel for being my buddies um, and helping me out with this. This uh, was a lot easier with them rather than me just kind of trying to talk people through it. Um, other than that, thank you guys very much.